and I just pressed the button and we are live the rhino and the dude minus Sammy I am the rhino I am the <laughs> I am the dude I'm the rhino <laughs> and today we are joined by Jeff Brochu the owner of Get Fit what's it sports Performance, performance center, yeah. center or the sports performance sports yeah. performance so yeah. we've known each other for a while and we're shout out to rich he's on the headphones right now and i need to hit a space bar and as you can tell we have a missing person in action you guys have seen the little missing um brandon scott um brandon scott uh posters around the city if you go in the city i'm going the city they yeah. have they have missing in person brandon scott posters up on the up on the telephone poles but we need one for sammy sammy is missing in action we don't know where sammy is and um we hope that you're okay sammy uh he did not take us up on his jujitsu lessons uh, sir you were just on the phone with him 30 seconds ago <laughs> you're not going along with things. i was gonna say he did not take us up on his jujitsu lessons and we hope he's okay i did teach him the dynamics of an arm bar when he was on the show that's and i think that's going to uh help him in his uh, in his fight out there in the wild world, but we're here with Jeff. And before I do that, I want to just give a shout out to who am I giving a shout out to, Eric? It's genuine smiles. Sean Sousa. 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 Genuine smiles. Mm -hmm. We had Sean on a couple episodes ago. I'm not going to try to count back and uh, take 30 seconds to do that. But we had Sean three. on a couple. It, it was three. It was three. You know, yeah, I'm not Sean, good with these things. Starfish and Sammy. Yep. <laughs> so three episodes ago, we had Sean on, and he talked about his um, Instagram page that he's made to help with um, spreading awareness of mental health and having a resource for people to talk if they need to talk. Uh, he's got a fight coming up here next month in LFA in Denver, uh, somewhere in that area, high elevation. And he is, uh, this is his fight shirt. So supporting him, but he also, the money is going to help someone who can't afford to get therapy, get therapy. So hit mm. up Sean, we'll tag him in the, mm. in this, the, but hit up uh, Sean, ooh, it'll help uh, him with his fight. And then I think a portion of the proceeds are also going towards helping somebody with mental mm. health and give me his Instagram. Instagram is genuine smiles, 2020. Genuine Smiles 2020. Shout out to Sean about to go. Is it 3 0 or 4 0? I can't remember what he is. I really want to say 4. I think he's 3 0 now and he's going. Yeah, I think he's 3 0 now. 4 0 afterwards. But yeah, here we are with Jeff. What's up, man? What's going on, man? What's going on? Stay on Sean for a second, man. Where's he fight out of? Out of ground control. Out right of ground on. control. So right one on. of my one of my um, new found teammates. Jam. So yeah, he's uh, pretty good. Uh, brown belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Um, he's been training since he was like 13 or something, I think he said, and he's 23-ish mm -hmm. or 24 now. Um, yeah, good guy. He's 125, 135. Ah, lightweight. I like yeah. it. Yeah, he flies, yeah. huh? That's his name, the Filipino Flash. Ah, no doubt. Yeah. No doubt. That's yeah. cool. That's cool. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Bring all these small guys on here, making me look big. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I want Shelton back. Hey, you're our, you're our, you're a bodyguard, man. <laughs> I want another big man in the seat. <laughs> when Shelton came on, I looked at Eddie. I looked at the stool, and I was like, Eddie, we can't put Shelton on that stool. Like, no, he's too big. That's my spot. That's my spot. <laughs> but talking about Jeff, Jeff is one of the most energetic people I know. Jeff walks in a room, and the energy goes up completely. Always. Every time I'm going to work out Jeff, I was excited. Because I'm like, if I'm tired, I'm going to be more energized once Jeff walks in the room. Every time I see Jeff, I have a genuine smile. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, peep the shirt. <laughs> nah, hey, hey, that's what it's about, man. Yeah. That's what it's about. Exactly what, what y'all are talking about. You, you know, you said, uh, who you with? Get Fit Sports Performance. Well, actually, this flame, we're the well of the world. So we are now Get Fit at the well of the world. Okay. So you talk about energy. Energy comes with belief. Belief brings us consistency. Belief brings us effort. Belief brings us progress. And when we believe, right, this is right here, either our well inside of here is full or it's empty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If it's full, our flame is lit and we're on fire, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the goal. That's where we want to be. If it's empty, you guys know what that feels like. We've all been there, right? Yeah. But the goal of life there's a champion in every single one of us. It just needs to be unleashed. 
But in order to do that, we have to feel that well, man. So I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that that's the goal is is that it feels like that when you come through. And I don't always feel like that in life, but my goodness, man, we're worth it, right? Mm -hmm. It's jamming, man. So I appreciate you. I 100% say I've never believed you didn't believe it. Like, just always whenever I've seen you, I'm like, Jeff has so much energy for me. I walk in the room exhausted. Uh, so I'm like, I'm like, okay, I gotta wake up now. <laughs> I gotta wake up and do something. <laughs> well, there's no doubt you have, man, because y'all, y'all, y'all roll, man. You guys inspired me from the beginning. Mm -hmm. so jamming, man. Yeah, we've known each other for what ten years, something like it's that. It's been now? a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah. And make sure you keep track of time because we don't have Sammy here. Oh, Sammy's true. typically the timekeeper. Yeah, you I'll set a timer. Nothing. Set, set a timer or something. We typically go for an hour um, or we let it rock a little bit longer, whatever. I mean, yeah. we're down for whatever. We don't got Sammy here to, to go p paint his toenails afterwards. Uh, <laughs> <but>. <laughs> Is that what he does? No. no. But, <laughs> I mean. That's the, Eddie's the just the really about the phone call I did. <laughs> what Eddie said, bye, Sammy, I love you. And Sammy did to the back and he was yeah. very upset what <laughs> <laughs> that never happened yeah. <laughs> okay. but yeah Sammy's a good, cool guy we're gonna miss mm -hmm. him I mean he's gonna be back next week hopefully we're hoping he's back <laughs> next week uh, Sam don't leave us um, I don't know where he went you know you guys said we talked to him we did not talk to him he's out there in the world missing mm -hmm. I'm glad that Sam's not here, and this is the one thing you want to talk about. <laughs> and he's like, we're like, global warming. And he's like, Sammy. Yeah. <laughs> we're like, the best movie we've ever seen is like, Sammy. Sammy's gone. Wednesday nights are a very dangerous time in, to be in the week. And the best place for somebody <laughs> like Sammy to be is in the room with us. <laughs> <laughs> be in that chair. <laughs> be in that chair. No, Sammy is at his small group today. We're just you're gonna we're gonna put it out there and you know doing this thing. Everything else. What else do we know about Sammy that we can tell the world? He really likes cartoons. Here? He loves cartoons as as he talked about. But mm -hmm. what is Jeff like? Man, Je Jeff, you mean what do I like? What do you it, like? Just in my life. Yeah. But I mean, my, <laughs> I, I love man. I'm passionate beyond all imagination and 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 helping mm -hmm. take folks to another level. Like that's my passion, man. At home and my family, wherever I walk into the room, like you know, if I go on vacation, that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. I want to see somebody. I want to, I want them to know that they're believed in the minute they see me. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. that, that's that's what it's about. Now through that, I love I love good eating. Yeah. Love good food. Man, we were just up in Maine a couple of weeks ago. I my, my mom. Man. I went up. I went up in Maine, and the, I yeah. stayed with your family up in Maine a couple. What's that? About five years ago now. Right on. I, I want to go back to Maine. Yeah. Yeah, you know it well. You know the camp. You know exactly yeah. what I'm talking the about, camp. man. It was it's out there it, swimming in the lake. I was afraid I was going to get a brain eating amoeba. <laughs> <Eva. laughs> yeah, it's crazy though, man. Like, um, you know, we're 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 there. We're water skiing. My daughter's water skiing. All of a sudden, man, my mom's like, I'm going to give this a try. Oh, really? She's, she's 67, going on 68 in November, right? They're like, Mom. And she doesn't like me to say going on 68. She says, I'm 67. <laughs> and, and then my aunt, 71, right? My mom's like, give it a try. So boat starts. She, she, doesn't, she doesn't get up first time. Hit it. That's what we say. Hit it. So she goes, starts rolling, doesn't get up second time. Hit it. She's up, right? So she does a loop on two skis, comes back around, drops one. One ski, man. 67 <laughs> years old, rolling, right? 67. Like does a foot. loop. Yeah, one one ski. If you know water skiing, yeah. YouTube it, whatever, if you haven't seen it. But one ski, right? Mm. So then she rocks it. My aunt gets up there. My aunt's 71. Mm. My aunt's like, I'm going to give this thing a go. So same deal. Took a few attempts, gets up, rolls. Comes around, does her one ski, drops a ski, does her one little loop, jams in. Man, that's that's why I believe because crazy stuff happens around me all yeah. the time, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just there, there, there's always reason, right? Like I have a little girl that has that has a that has a grandma that believes like that, so she's yeah. able to she's able to spread her wings and fly. So it just man, mm -hmm. it, you know, meeting meeting guys like y'all, it just every every reason in the world to just yeah. say let's go. And for those people that don't know you, explain what what it is that Get Fit does, what you do, and you know, just the overall. Yeah, right, right. So, you know, we've always said, my partners and I, we've always said, Get Fit's not a gym. 
Like, you know, and, and, and when you start trying to tell somebody that, they're like, what do you mean? It is a gym. And, and so, you know, now Rich is really launching his music and we're going, um, we're going doing school assemblies. We had a keynote presentation at a Fortune, I believe it was like a Fortune 250, maybe 150 company last year. Um, you know, so we're really starting to jam with, with his music and motivation. The, the ultimately we train and we train like crazy. We train, um, athletes from all ages, five years old up through professional. Um, we love our, we love our boot camp. Everybody to us that walks through the doors is a champion. Our fitness boot camps are where we started out and where we continue to jam today. And we see so many people come through that, that say they're in the best shape of their life and they're 40 and they're 50 and they're 60 and, you know, and, and, and they're 16 and they're 18 and whatever they are. So that's, what we do is through fitness, we bring people to a full well, if that makes sense. Hopefully you set their flame on fire and let them, let them go. But the, the, the objective is for that to resonate in all areas of their life, right? Home, school, I don't care if you've got a flat tire and you can't, you can't change it right away. Just like getting set up for this. So this Sammy, I heard of Sammy all day long for the last like 45 minutes. Sammy's the one that sets everything up. Well, I'm hearing Eddie. <laughs> I'm hearing Eddie like, man, I wish Sammy was here. I'm sorry, Jeff. I'm sorry. Well, number one, you don't have to be sorry because challenges are meant to be overcome and we overcame them, man. Yeah. And, and that's, you know, that's, that's what it's really all about is helping people believe right where you are right where we need to be and through fitness now through music through wrestling you know tom, tom tommy you know mm -hmm. coach yeah. tom yeah i mean we, we've started a, a wrestling program that we're looking to launch again we were neck deep into it uh probably six seven years ago and then um you know life happened we went in different directions and we let our wrestling program go but we're looking to bring it back and bring in young kids up through college doesn't matter we want mma fighters to come in there you need six weeks of training mm -hmm. As an MMA fighter to get a nice base, you need to come in. You're getting ready for preseason, high school wrestling, middle school. If you you you, you know come season, you want to join our team. Yeah. But through wrestling, right? The yeah. whole point is. And Tom helped me a lot with my wrestling when I was fighting and all too. Yeah, it's like uh, that, it's, it, 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 he's a good coach for sure. And so I'm yeah. bringing up wrestling. Yep. I'm bringing up music. I'm bringing up fitness. I'm bringing up sports performance. I'm bringing all that into the equation, right? But it's all a tool, so that folks can believe what we see. And the reason we believe so heavily, Ed, man, like I, I'll look at you and just say, bro, you were willing to fall on your face, man. Stand back up and try again. Fall on your face, stand back up and try again. Not many yeah. things came real easy. And it's through seeing, seeing, you know, folks like you it, it put what a champion is. A champion goes to the limit, right? They find things that aren't easy to take on. They take them on. They come out the other side. And we just want that for everybody. Yeah. You know, I, I haven't always believed that it was like that. But, man, when you see thousands of people come through the doors and change, you have to start believing, right? Yeah. And it's, it's just crazy. And now, like, it drives me. It drives me wild trying to convince somebody, you are a champion. Let it go. Like, unleash it. Well, I'm right here. Right where you are is right where you need to be, and we just need to go through suit, through music, through wrestling, through fitness. That's what we do, but really it's through a handshake and saying, what's yeah. up? Yeah. You know, what's up? True. I want you to believe just by knowing you have somebody to believe in you because you can feel it, Yeah, if that makes sense. Yeah. So that's what we do. That's what we do. That That is what y'all do. But on the business side, if you're looking for a good boot camp— Appreciate the plug, man. Appreciate the plug. A good wrestling you know, camp. Wrestling camp. A good honestly just anything go camp. Check out the facility too, because you guys yeah. opened the one in um, Have a Grace, the big yeah yeah. Used to be on was Have it Save Grace? a Lot at one point. It was Save a Lot. Yeah yeah yeah. Because I used to when and I lived it was in Grace, I used to run past that building every day. Uh, yeah, I saw you run a few times yeah. when you were living there. I used yeah. to run past that building all the time. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I was like, I wonder what's ever going to happen in this building. And like, <laughs> years later, I'm walking by. I'm like, did Jeff really take this over? Yeah. That was one day. It was like a first Friday. I had to like come in. I like walked to the gym, just walked to the door. And I was like, 
Really, Jeff took this place. That's, That's it, sick. man. You, yeah. you guys are cool still facility. in uh, Forest Hill as well, right? We're not in Forest Hill oh, at this point yet. We're in oh, okay. ha- we're fully in Haverty Grace. So okay, yeah. so everything's been moved to that. Location. Everything's in Haverty Grace okay. right now. Yeah, gotcha. man. For you know, it was. It was something we wished didn't happen, you know, and, they, and that's a business thing. Like, yeah, I, you know, course. I'll go there, and this is, yep. the, this is the cool thing about the flame. The flame doesn't mean you don't make mistakes. The flame doesn't mean you don't let your guard down. The flame doesn't mean you don't have lots of things to learn. And, you know, through, um, you know, through some mistakes I made, through some learning experiences, I, uh, I, Forest Hill isn't in existence, but my goodness, gotcha. man. Those, One, those, second. Those One, folks. Second, folks. Yeah. One second, folks. One second, folks. Sammy's uh, not here. <laughs> battery running low. <laughs> Sammy, Sammy wasn't here to Sammy. plug in the computer. <laughs> so, you guys, in the middle of Jeff talking, the computer decided to tell us that it's going to die. And if the computer dies, we're in trouble. Yeah, we don't want Sammy. the computer to die. We're <laughs> no. overcoming challenges, man. That's what All we do. All the challenges. That's what we do. Sammy wasn't there <laughs> to plug in my computer. <laughs> to cl- plug in my computer. <laughs> to press record. <laughs> Sammy wasn't there. <laughs> but I mean, we could be getting stressed about this. Yeah. And I could be like, oh my gosh, that just ruined the whole integrity of the show. <laughs> but this is somebody's laughing right now. Yeah. It's somebody it's, you're Alex somebody on Saturday so at 11. 11.30 right now. I guess we're... Are we going to do this one at 11.30 or 12.30? Because I, I think that... I, when, when, I set it for noon every week. Okay, noon. Somebody at noon is going to be laughing at this moment right now. Mm-hmm. Well, that Guaranteed. just talks about... You're welcome. Your outlook on things. Like if this, Blame Sammy. You make this a big deal, it's a big deal. But if you're just kind of like, okay. I mean, yeah. I mean making a big deal, deal yeah. but doesn't matter it's i mean not, if i just walked off they'd be matter. like this guy's so unprofessional <laughs> just leave. so i'm just gonna talk about myself being unprofessional it's gonna be a great moment you of know the, man you just gave me a show. genuine smile i did a genuine 2020 smile. instagram <laughs> <laughs> what's the 2020 about that's the on the um, the name of the page for genuine smiles okay it's okay. 20 genuine think smiles he, 2020 uh, on instagram i think story, he made it in 2020 right? well yeah the story out of uh, of how sean started this was he had a friend that um he was. He said he was going. He talked about this on the show. He was hey, would you going. Pass me my drink while you're telling this story, man. Sure. Appreciate it. Does this make you feel like a champion? Uh, it does. Yeah, you got it does. Your we, drink. We actually... <laughs> Next time, just call him Sun, though. Yeah. <laughs> make my child. Sunny boy. <laughs> Sunny boy. Mm. So, so Sean was going to training, and he got a call that his. Uh, his he hung out with his friend, and then. He had g- gone to train the next day, got a call that his friend had killed himself. Aye. Um, And out of that, you know, he had no clue that the guy was struggling with anything. Okay. So out of that, he wanted to start a, something to be able to help other people that were going through it. Got you. Got so you. I believe yeah. that that went down in 2020. Okay. And okay. yeah, gotcha. I believe. Or maybe not. I, think, I don't know. I think know. from our conversation, that's what, me, that's what I, I got out of it too. Yeah. So I yeah. think you're right. Yeah. So what got you guys doing this podcast? Um, I had a business partner uh, when I was across the hall. Mm-hmm. Um, we were doing some stuff. Business and partner, real estate. Real estate. So are you? Do you have a brokerage, or are you working under? Uh, you I'm with the EXP partner? Realty. Okay. Yeah, EXP gotcha. Realty. So I had a business partner. Um, I wanted to get I, you a plug there. That was my. <laughs> if you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, call 410-588-6536 and let the dude fight for you. <laughs> oh, good. I don't, I don't do that good. as much as I used to. Yeah, That's what I need good. to get back to. Sounded good. But every, every week when you're posting all those real estate videos, you're doing, you and those random houses yelling. Yeah, it was it was good. I'm going to have to get back to something. Maybe we can do something with Jeff and, and Rich. We can... Like be doing ladders and being like buy a house <laughs> four one oh two one. <laughs> so anyway, um, I had the office over here and we 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 had a little thing. It didn't work out. Yeah. Um, and I like having an office. And towards the end of that lease, he's like, I'm. He's like, I don't want to, you know, <laughs> renew yeah. it. You know, we were using a little bit. He'd never come in. Gotcha. And I was like, Well, I can. I wanted I, at the at that point in time I was asked to be a part of a podcast, okay, which didn't really work out. But yeah, yeah. but they were paying to go to this place, and I was like, well, okay. we could just put plop it right here, and then I can record whatever content, Got uh, it. whatever content needs to be recorded for the business or whatever else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 
Yeah, that's how uh, this so you came use about. This for multiple so I was like, things. Okay. I have my office here, and yeah. then I have you know enough space to have this set up and have all the recording. Got and it. then I was like, well, if I'm going to record for my own business, yeah. why not let other people come in? So let's also plug the podcast lab. <laughs> this is like a this is getting like a Joe Rogan podcast. Just, this, is, this is this is brought to you by the podcast. Dude, it's lab. weird. We had to plug in our laptop. Now we're just plugging everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the podcast lab, which is where we are right now. If you are looking to record a podcast, hit up the dude today. Four one zero five eight eight six five three six. So that's the podcast, right? The podcast. So what? So what is y'all? How pod, did this the, happen? The dude in the rhino. This what is purely the dude happened the rhino about? because I was looking to um, just test out the equipment. So I called in a couple of people and I was like, "Hey, man, want to come and talk to me for an hour and we can uh. test out the equipment?" And then Eric was like. I like this. Let's make it a show. Mm-hmm. Right on. Yeah. Right on. And what, and what are y'all looking to? Wait, like what? Like what's your objective when people so come in? What are you looking to? I just like to get to know people, like the people, especially like someone like you who I've known for years. Yeah. But I've only known you in the sense of our coach. Let's not go. As like, yeah. Not as like. <laughs> yeah. Just a genuine person outside of all that. Like Got I met you. your daughter. I've talked to you a bunch of times about a bunch of random stuff, but never really just sat down like got to know more about you. Like I didn't know your family you. was in Maine. Yeah. Never knew that. Eddie Not visited easy. him for like a month, man. Yeah. That, that, it was he, a showed month. Up, he showed up for two days and stayed for a month, man. It was a week. <laughs> and he was like, wow, this <laughs> place is pretty cool. At, at one point, it was brought up as if it was a month. But it was not a month. <laughs> Eddie, if you're, if you're parked in your car in front of their house still sleeping there, that's still technically is at their house. I was a couple doors down because they told me that house was vacant. So, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Was, they go down to Florida for the summer. Like, <laughs> Why would you have a house in Maine? And go to Florida? <laughs> I, did, I, did, I said it backwards. Okay, <laughs> they go to Florida in the summer and come back in. in, in they just they come back in the winter when it's yeah. covered in ice. <laughs> they just want to be completely uncomfortable at all times. <laughs> it's part, you know. It's it's part of. Uh, did you advise that? Like you got to get out of your comfort zone. Go to Maine in the winter and Absol- freeze. Absolutely. And go absolutely. to summer. Go to Florida in the summer. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it, it's been good, and for me, it's been uh, been able to kind of show more of myself and who I am. Okay. Because I feel like kind of. So what, so so what do you when you say who I am? Who are you, man? What do you what do you what are you rocking? I'm a riddle wrapped in an enigma. What 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 was that? <laughs> what was that? Yeah. What was that? Dude, it sounds like you're a, you're trying to be a dude, but you're really just a dud. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like a dud. No. Um, <laughs> No, um, no, that was a, a a quote from I think Taxi Driver or something like that. Oh. Which is like you're a riddle wrapped in a you don't watch your was that Al Al Capone or was that Al Capone? Al Capone? I, 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 that reference went. Yeah. I think you're a little every too every somebody referenced LBJ and he thought he was talking about LeBron. No, they said LBJ and I was like, oh, LeBron James. <laughs> no, that was bad. Lyndon yeah, Baines, B. Johnson. Johnson. Yeah. No. I, I, I can the see, president this, I can see after, the LeBron James, yeah. though. I mean, that's, the president he's after everywhere. John F. Kennedy. Mm-hmm. I know who he is. And then I before just, John F. Kennedy was? Oh, I don't know. I did not do good in history class. Eisenhower. Oh, good for you. You know them all? Proud of you. You know them all? Uh, I can count back. So, I mean, I can count backwards. I get... All right, you want me to just... Go no, we're, we're, go I'm just curious. I know a good bit. I know a good bit. You go, go, go first eight. Go first eight. Ooh. That's a little bit tougher. Go first five. Ooh. Um, dang, you're setting me up. Or you want to go backwards? I can go backwards. Okay, go easy. backwards. But, but eight. I mean, go backwards eight. Backwards eight. eight go presidents. backwards eight. Okay. Well, right now we have Biden. We had Trump. Uh, before Trump, we had Obama. Before Obama, what was that about? <laughs> uh, before Obama, we had Bush. Impressed. Yeah, there you go. Before Bush, we had Clinton. Before Clinton, we had Bush. Before uh, Bush, we had Reagan. Before Reagan, we had Carter. Done. That's eight, man. That's yeah, eight. I can keep go. going. Good work. Yeah, that's I can good. keep going. That's good. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, we, we don't want to sit here for six hours and listen. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> before Carter, Carter, we had it's Ford. It's crazy to before think that many Ford, presidents. we had Nixon. Mm-hmm. You're honestly, really good. That's ten. Yeah. Better yeah. than we expected. Proud of you. It's crazy the first eight, though. I've been alive that long, man. It's crazy. Doesn't doesn't seem right. So you were Nin- born nineteen seventy seven, man. Okay, yeah. gotcha, yeah, gotcha. But when you just named eight, I'm like, wow! Every single one of those I've been alive for. That's crazy. Yeah. I wasn't anticipating. I can't being see alive how far I can eight. go back. You don't want to see how crazy. far I can go back. <laughs> I, 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 I I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I just like I don't I don't care enough. <laughs> I don't know, but honestly, you blew me out of the water. Yeah. I would have been done after Obama. You don't know who I would have been. I would know after Bush. I would have been done after. Bush. Like, you don't know Clinton. I know Clinton, but I know him for like the Monica Lewinsky stuff, not for like yeah, being yeah. president. You seen like the 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 uh, pictures and like most people don't know there's two people in this picture. And he's sitting at the desk. <laughs> he's sitting at the desk. Uh, 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 we were young for that though. Yeah. Was we, that what was that like? That time period. Man, you know, I, um, just, I I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Yeah. Like uh, I got into the news at one point. Because I thought that's what I was supposed to do. But when I was growing up, man, I'd watch sports, but I just yeah. like to have a good time. And then I got in, you know, I was in the mortgage industry, real estate, all this stuff. And I thought, you know, to be a part of all that, I needed to tune in and, and know what was going on with everything and be able to go to network marketing meetings and talk about all all that, what I call nonsense now, man. But I'm, I'm back. I'm back, man. I enjoy I enjoy good, plentiful conversation. Yeah. So I don't, I don't tune in too much on on that, and I didn't then. I was, yeah. You know, obviously you heard the story because it was big, but I like to live my own life, man. Yeah. And so I, I just, yeah, I, I, I like to, you know, nowadays it's like local high school football. Let's go check it out, cheer them on, even go and strengthen, get them strong, right? But you know, other than that, man, if I'm not a part of it, I'm probably not tuning in. So yeah. it's, uh, it's, um. Same thing in the 90s with Bill Clinton. What was that like? You have to ask him, man, because yeah. I, 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 I try, to stay, in, I try, to, I try to stay in my lane, man. I try to stay in my lane. It was pretty so. good. I had it lit in there. I, I, <laughs> I really want to say like it was impeachable, but like it's he, not a good pun. Yeah, well, so I think exactly. he did get impeached. Yeah, that, he did. did. I know that. Away. See? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> no, I pay attention. Hey, did you surf when you were on vacation? You just came off vacation, yeah. right? It's been tough. I try. I got on the board, but um, I didn't get up. So what happened? So you, was, so you, you went out this time, this trip. You went I out. went out this trip. Ocean City is not a the best place to surf. The that's so the because you didn't get up. Is that why? <laughs> yeah. The beach is like, this place sucks. Yeah. Like, walking away this, like, you, you know, can the, Google it. You know the uh, surfboard yeah. had like, that strap, and he just like pulled it by the strap, like. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, I mean it's just not the the. A lot of times, I, I went there for a week by myself, yeah. and the waves. It was like there was no waves, but they would just come and crash right on the beach. Uh, so yeah. literally, the length of this office, you could be standing there talk. I was standing talking to somebody on shore on the beach. That's, yeah totally dry and i'm i'm this deep in water i got you. so you know you. Wa- the waves happen when from what i understand when the uh when it hits you know a, a sandbar so right. if there's no sandbar okay it's not okay. the best so there's not really the best sandbar at, in ocean city got now it. last week i was just down there for surfers healing i don't know if you ever heard of that no, organization no, no, my no. cousin and my cousin is funny i want to get my cousin in but he just is like oh i'm coming here to talk and He's the main organizer for Surfers Healing. What it was with this? The, the plug kit. Yeah. You're putting this Surfers in the Healing plug. <laughs> Surfers, Surfers he- healing. 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 Surfers Healing. Healing. Okay. Yeah. Surfers Healing is a. It is an organization made for autistic kids. So what had happened was a pro surfer. I'm guessing he's from Hawaii because. He's a pro surfer. Yeah. <laughs> he he had an autistic son, I believe, or okay. might have been daughter, and he. Typically, he would go out on his board, and his wife would watch the his child. And yeah, I guess yeah. one day she wasn't there, and he's like, "Well, I'm not gonna not go surfing." So he took the kid with him, and the kid had issues yeah. when he got when he got his kid out there on the on the water. Because you know, you paddle out and you kind of sit. Yeah, complete. Yeah, you know, calm. Yeah, and so he. I guess it starts. It lit that lit that flame, yeah. and took another kid, and it became a, a thing. So now they go up uh, the west coast to start in the beginning of the summers. So they go from the bottom, I guess, to the top, right on, and then they go from the top of the east coast, yeah. down. So my cousin is the main organizer for the Maryland Ocean City one. Okay. So after Ocean okay. City, they go to I think Norfolk, Virginia. Gotcha. So there's gotcha. like another one. I think he follows them down and volunteers there. So when you were referring to it lit the flame, what were what did you mean by that? It well I mean it lit the spark. It, for it, who? For that that guy, his his idea which led to so many other people. Got you. Got you. Came along that And so they weren't 
putting his son in the ocean because he was autistic. No. Right? He was he was staying on shore. That's what you said, right? He was staying on shore. And yeah, then, he was staying on shore before, yeah. Right. And so they emptied his well because they labeled him. Like uh-huh. right, like like this is what the well's all about. So you're hitting on it. Now. Okay. You gotta take the labels off. Okay. Test the waters over and over and over. Yeah. Because the labels, they limit. Yeah. When we take the limits off, we get in the water, man. And when we get in the water, the flame gotcha. starts to get lit. Okay. And then the fire comes, right? Yeah. Like, you know, you're talking about autism. Man, there's some focus with that stuff. But if you limit everything else, you limit the focus yeah. right along with it, right? Yeah. So, you know, that's what it's all about is is uh, is exactly what you just, just described. Don't sit anybody on the bench. Nobody sits on the bench, man. Everybody... Has a, has a reason to get in the game, but we got to take them right where they are. Right where they are. Their step. Yeah. But don't keep them on their step, but take them at their step, and then let's roll. That's what it's all about. So you ask me what I do, that's our mission, man. Mm. That's our that that's that's what it's all about. Get them on the surfboard, man. Yeah. Get that's cool, man. I love but that. Yeah, I, I love mean, that. That's jamming. If you, Sur- I'm sure you, surfing heels. Surfers healing. Surfers healing. Yeah, okay. so they do it okay. every, every, um, every summer. I mean, you know, they'd love to have it. You, if you wanted to come down next time and experience it, you, you know, they'd love to have you. <laughs> Are they in Ocean City? Uh, well, I mean, or, that's the, where we go for Maryland, yeah. Right on. Uh, right on. My cousin that's organizes cool. that. So, okay. you know, we had a lot of volunteers. I helped volunteer. I was handing out, like, the little medals and the little flower necklace things. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And my girlfriend was taking the uh, life jackets from them. But, you know, you see, it, it, it was good. Anyway, after that, one of the... Uh, wor- but you didn't... Go anywhere. I'm not a pro surfer. <laughs> <laughs> and he walked up the board like, turn back, sir. Like, turn back. No chance. I asked them to take me out, but they, they wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like on the shore, just like sitting on the board, like, let's go. And the guy was like, yeah. no. No, so somebody somebody there had, uh, that we had met through the organization, their son had one, uh, had, a, had a surfboard. Okay. Afterwards. So I like took that out a couple of times. It was a lot smaller than the one that I had. Yeah. So like when I was going to like push up, I was like, oh gosh, uh, it was a smaller kid. Yeah, so yeah. I didn't really catch any waves. Okay. Um, okay. But they were, they were actually pretty decent that day. And I also didn't want to stay out too long on somebody else's board. I was, yeah. you know, yeah. but, uh, but yeah. yeah, but in Puerto Rico, they were good. They were, I, I did, you, go back did, to Puerto you, Rico. did you get up? Yeah, I did. I've heard the foam in Puerto Rico. Okay. Um, you know, the, the foam. So is that why it's better than Ocean City? I mean, <laughs> there was a bunch of people surfing in Puerto Rico. It's, it's hard to find Ocean City people surfing. So, uh, But no, I mean, it's just uh, depends on the sandbar. Yeah, I really yeah. need, want to go to Assateague Island. A lot of people go to Assateague Island to surf. To surf, yeah? Yeah. Gotcha. I just gotcha. need a truck to put my surfboard in. I don't yeah. have a truck. So <laughs> can't really move it much. Maybe I'll just get on it and just... Just paddle, you know, five miles. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Eric, what about you, man? What are you, so surfing, what's your, what do we not know about you, man? Man, I don't know. I, I started lifting again. Okay. Just because I took time off from lifting because my knee was bothering me, my back was messed up. Yeah. And then one day I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to go back in the gym. I got a new job. I'm like, I don't have to drive an hour to work every day, so I'm right like, yeah, I'm going to get back in the gym lifting. I've been lifting with Big Ron. So like power lifting? No, nah, like just... Lifting in general. Like, okay. Working on yeah. What if we yeah. had Big Ron? How's Big Ron doing, man? Dude, he's the same exact person. Shout out yeah. to Big Ron. You yeah. know him. Everywhere everywhere he goes, he's the Big same Ron guy. has to sit in the stool, though. He's small. <laughs> <laughs> For you guys who don't know, Big Ron was our one of our jiu-jitsu coaches forever. He's a cool guy. Yeah. And um, But he was. Just, I was at the gym one day at 6 in the morning. He was like, what are you doing here? And then he just walked up to me and started, you know, insulting me to... Okay. Talking trash, being who he, he is. Doesn't, he yeah. doesn't. He, he, he doesn't do very well with the whole fire well analogy. No, he, well, he lives. He does it. He yeah, lives. He lives. It, he just, lives, like, lives it, it. But he's just like, I got the fire. You <laughs> empty wellers. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but hey, empty true. well. Hey, but when he when he's living it and you and you and you and you get that, you stick around him. You, you yeah. get the laughs. You get you get the pumping iron. You mm-hmm. get to you get, you get the beat rolling. Up. <laughs> you get you beat up. You get beat up. All of it. I went home and cried every day. We know. Just like. You would surf in Ocean City. We understand. <laughs> Those are real tears. <laughs> so you're back pumping iron, man. Yeah, That's cool. and I'm just back trying to do some jujitsu. Okay, okay. Just different places training around. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome, man. You you um doing jujitsu a couple times a week. 
Uh, yeah, a couple times. Or a week. just sporadically. A couple times a week. Okay. Just okay. Yeah. Going around training. I got to get in that open mouth with you that one day. Yeah. I missed it that a couple times and we haven't got back to going. I just need to go. I felt yeah. too just scared. No, nah, I was just like, the one time we were going to go and then my girlfriend's car had a flat tire. See, we got close to the gym. He's like, my girlfriend's tire's flat. I'm yeah. like, scared. I was like, Don't be scared. I didn't, get my, I didn't get my surfboard yeah, in Ocean yeah, City yeah. that day. It's all right to be scared of your girlfriend, man. You got, you got to get I'm home. I'm scared man. of the gym. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us about this big, crazy guy that you hang out with. You mean uh, the grave digger? Yeah, he digs graves. Oh. And Burgundy Love. He rides. Burgundy Love is my favorite Burgundy part Love is his... Just- and his uh, and his wife is a menace to society when it comes to driving. Apparently, <laughs> have you heard about this with his wife? Yeah, yeah. You got, know, it, it, got a, he, when they got married, he put her on his car insurance. And his car insurance dropped him. Right on, <laughs> right on. They had to get new insurance, yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what? Yeah. I've never heard that happen to someone hey, before. When you partner with people, everybody has challenges, right? Mm-hmm. But we team up and we 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 roll. We roll together. We roll together. Mm-hmm. Would you ever advise someone to not part? Would ever be like, you know, like, <laughs> like, no, nah, you should probably like, yeah, like, wait, wait. we're not cool. <laughs> like, it, it, how, it, how do you handle that? It depends on if it's legit or not. Okay. If, it, if it's legit and you know, you know, you're all in. Yeah. You can't stop that, man. Mm-hmm. You what do you mean you by try, that? What if you know meaning, you're meaning, if you're trying to latch on to something. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. But if if you're in and and your car insurance is gonna go up. It's My man, up. run, run, and 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 everybody make adjustments. You make adjustments gotcha. with the with, with the, the job you have and the money now. you're making, and you scooter. make adjustments with trying to <laughs> trying to limit the the, the accidents. Yeah. But if they happen, they happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you can't true. you can't true. stop that, man. True, can't stop falling on your face when you're trying to run. Mm-hmm. It's good stuff. Happens sometimes. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, so old Shelton, man. Yeah, he, um, you know. It, uh, I mean, I, I it's a, this whole journey for me started with Ron, man, and and uh, you know, Ron invited me into into the world over there, and and um, and uh, one of the most genuine men I've ever met in my life, man, and um, and then through Ron, you know, Sheldon came along, and we've been plugging because you know, Ron is uh, Ron's a tremendous family man, and and um, you know, running his gym and and takes care of that, so um, you know. Things slowed down with the competition, the competing and everything and taking care of that. And so Shelton's been running. Shelton's been training and we've been rolling, I guess, for about the last eight years. Right. And, yeah. And um, it's it's been an, an amazing, amazing one of the he's as loyal as it gets. He's as kind as it gets. He's he thinks he's as funny as it get, as it gets. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes I have to force a laugh. You know, it's. Got you, shout. It's uh, <laughs> no, but his um, you know, you take this last fight um, in the PFL with with Anti. Like people see that on TV, and that's the moment they see. What I saw was Whoa. going over to Russia, yeah, and we lose two fights, mm-hmm. and. But we, but what people don't know is we're never winning and we're never losing. We're just growing. So what we did was we got exposed to some things that we weren't prepared for. We didn't lose the fight. We literally didn't know how to inside box at that point. And so you go in and you fight Ante and what's he top thirty or fifty in the world, something like that. Yeah, he's up there. Um, you know, he's in the finals too. Yeah, I don't was, know if you saw that. Runner up last year. Yeah, I did. Well, yeah. He, he, he knocked out. Uh, he, in the playoffs, he just knocked out his opponent in the first round, the, so he's he might end up being the champion. He's yeah, Ro- got Roman Frerier, I think I think was the guy's name. Yeah, and you know, Anti Brazilian guy, I think he knocked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, Anti's top thirty or fifty in the world, something like that. It may even be higher. You know, the rankings are are yeah. whatever. But two mm-hmm. years ago, Shelton wouldn't have gone in, and what I believe beat him. You know, there there were some there were see some, this see we, this we, Sammy, we all, right. all your faults, all, right. all your faults, Sammy. <laughs> My phone would not have rang if, if Sammy was here. Let me. He's just wishing it was Sammy calling. <laughs> Sammy, Sammy wasn't there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I I rewatched that fight even after the original time I watched it, and I still think Shelton won that one. And so the beauty the beauty for me is two years before that, Ante would have knocked him out first round, but. Ante doesn't know who Shelton is. People don't people don't understand a guy like him. Shelton's not not fighting for wins and losses. He's fighting to be as great as he can possibly be. Mm-hmm. So he's closing gaps, right? Closing gaps. So you go in and 
Some people might say, oh, it was a week's notice, unable to prepare. You can't prepare for a man that just keeps getting better. You yeah. can't prepare for a man that's not listening to what everybody else is saying. You, you, you just can't prepare for it. And so that's the, the, the beauty. That, that moment for me was the endless, endless, endless hours that he spent in the gym, that he spends running from D.C. to Washington, or um, the Northern Virginia to Philadelphia, mm. back to Northern Maryland to Haverty Grace, all in a given day, like all in a given day, whether it's sparring, whether it's boxing, whether it's wrestling, jiu-jitsu, learning kicks, going to little gyms along the way that he becomes a member of to, to train and make sure he can get, I mean, he gets three, four sessions in a day, body is torched by the end of the week. It's nothing I'd recommend. Yeah, for, I was going to say that you would not recommend it's, it's that. It's nothing I'd recommend person. for anybody. For anybody. Um, but at the end of the day, that's what he had, that, that's what he's done to close the gaps and to ultimately, I believe, eventually become the gap in some PF, hopefully it's PFL. Like I hope we're right back there. I hope we're in the chip next year because that's that's where it is. It, there's no water in there. We're good. We're 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 um, it's, and so that's the moment. That ring for me isn't the ring at all. It's my goodness, man. Like what a beautiful, beautiful journey I've been able to be a part of, been blessed with, and and you know, there's times when you're not getting the call from a particular promotion. And you get broken, you know, you're working so hard. And there's times when you take a defeat and you're bringing your family over to watch fight. You're bringing your, your, your coaches, paying for everything and hoping you get the win to get the, to, to, to double whatever the purse was. And you go home and then we're on a, a, a two year lapse. Most men would quit. And I would say, I would say uh, 999,999 out of a million if they were in Shelton Graves' shoes, would quit. He doesn't. And mm-hmm. that's why he rises. And, man, between the kindness that he delivers to my family, my, you know, my daughter for years, man, and now my wife Shana and her boys and, and me, he's there anytime I need him, snap of a finger. Anytime I don't need him, snap of a finger. He's volunteering. What can I help you with? What can I do? The love is what I'm saying. Like, man, the love that he has and the, the, the commitment to excellence. It's like nothing I've ever seen in my life. I've, you know, heard about it with people in specific categories, like different sport, you know, a Michael Jordan, a Kobe Bryant, a, but man, he just, he does it everywhere and he doesn't stop. And it's amazing, man. His sacrifice is amazing. Just keeps yeah. believing. Yeah. And when he has a little doubt, he knows that he's got good people in his corner to say, Hey, I'm struggling gets back up, keeps riding. Yeah. And so it's um it's just been been an amazing opportunity for me to be a part of, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure. What would you say some of your favorite speaking of um you know where we met and everything, what would you say some of your best memories outside of Shelton maybe and what you just shared? <laughs> Is this yeah. probably your best memory? <laughs> but outside of that, what's some of your best memories uh in that environment, you know, that involves us or doesn't involve <laughs> us or whatever? Yeah, no, nah, man. Talk my my best memory Sh- I mean Shelton's a part of the best memory. So yeah. I'm giving you the journey, right? Like that's yeah. an eight year journey. Oh right? yeah, yeah. Um but it but at the end of the day, man when I started being the strength and conditioning coach over at top flight and you come in and you have hungry fellas like y'all, right? Like you got four and five. And I think at one point it was seven or eight, but then it's always the combat fighters training for fights, man. And you got people just, you know, I left there in spy. Like you talk about, I had loads of energy. Well, I'm sure it's hard. So when I was coaching, that's one thing I'm just going to say. It can be hard with the oh, loads of energy that you have, even though you want to meet everybody where they're at. Yeah. But sometimes the person that's just looking for a workout isn't matching your passion. And it's almost, it can be a little, I don't know what the word for it could be, but it's draining. Yeah. Yeah, right. That's yeah, the it's word. It's draining because yeah. it's like, I'm up here, but you're yeah. just kind of like, this is just Tuesday night for you. Yeah. And which is fine. I mean, obviously, this is the business, yeah. but. Like I had this level of passion and yeah. and to and to see that you have this level of of you. So I, I I imagine that working with with athletes is gives you 
when you're working with athletes that are passionate, they're passionate here, and I'm passionate to where it's like-minded. Absolutely, absolutely. To where it's more enjoyable than maybe somebody that's just like, hey, here's your whatever your class calls, you know, give me yeah, a workout. And, you, and, you, and know? you know, at the end of the day, everybody's passionate. Yeah, some people don't. Some yeah. people just don't want to go there. And so I would, I would drain them out, right? Like if, if you can't rise to that energy, because it's, I can't be fake, man. Like I'm bored. Like, all right, do a, do a curl. Well, my whole passion in life, man, is like, you got something crazy in you. We're about to pull it out. Right. Yeah. And so, man, it really like, there's different, there's different ways that it looks in a picture. And man, when I came over to, to top flight and you guys were willing to run through a brick wall. You were willing to fall. You were willing to sweat. You were willing to do the next thing, the next thing, the next thing to the best of your ability. Like, that's crazy, right? And then you go into fitness boot camps, and it might it might look a little different. But my goodness, when you get people one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, build and build and build, and, man, it looks crazy. And on mm-hmm. the day one, like, what's draining isn't someone moving slow. It's not someone, and I don't even mean day one. I mean, I don't care when it is. Day one, year 20, it's when they don't believe Mm -hmm. because it's all fun, man. When I watch somebody come in here, like shoulders folded over chest, whether it's posture or whether it's a defeated, like, I'm not, I I can't, I'm not like them. I'm not like them. Now you are, you are like, man, if, if we just come in and we're on a team, like, let's give this a go. You give this a go. That's fire, right? Like that's passion. That's not, it's not about going to top flight. It's not about training a football team. It's not about basketball. My fire is fire and fire is 100%. Am I given everything that I have? And that picture is painted differently for a 70 year old then it is a five-year-old, then it is an 18-year-old, then it is a football player, meaning the picture you look at might appear different, but it's the same when you're trying to do the best you possibly can. And so if you're not, I'm probably not the guy, but and, it, and, and not the guy to work with, not the guy to train with, but man, like I believe that I don't believe anybody wants to be watered down. I don't believe it because I've when I was coaching, like so our first four years of business, right? Mm-hmm. I was talking about Forest Hill closing down. Our first four years of business, Rich, Tom, and I, we brought the company from zero people to 300 people, right? And I was getting excited. My passion's coaching. It always has been. It always will be. There was a period I didn't know that, right? And so I'm getting a call from, or whether a message or call, I can't remember, call from Colorado, um, message somebody relayed, hey, somebody would like to franchise off of you in California, um, the person contacted directly from Denver. Um, I'm thinking multiple locations because I'm thinking everybody has my passion, right? So we're about to take what we have mm. and we're about to blow it up. Well, they don't. my system was my energy. Mm-hmm. My system, and I don't mean energy in like, I just bring the energy. Well, you don't have energy if you don't have true love. You don't have true belief. You can't But they can't can, they can it, make right? a They can make a get fit. They can they can make a get fit. You can put the logo on the wall. You can put the match. You can make it look identical. You yeah. can reconstruct the whole be- building and it's fill a harbor same. that looks like Havity Grace. You could but rebuild you the Havity Grace, save a lot. You don't. Yeah, yeah. You don't get Jeff. Yeah. yeah, you right. don't get the energy necessarily. There's it, other people out there, but that's that, not the guarantee. So that's what makes it hard, for yeah. sure. And so we went through a phase, right? Where I remember, where I, hired, I was going to ask you, I hired, about that. and and I might, I, I, I'm not going to say might. You know, I, you talk business, right? And so you want a good business, you got to study good businesses. Well, there's levels to good businesses. So I'm studying Southwest because they're awesome, right? I'm studying Chick-fil-A. I'm, I'm like, man, these places are good. Well, what am I studying at that time? I'm studying that they treat their employees great in that they let them flourish. They let them, they, 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 they let them, uh, they let them go, right? Yeah. Like, like um, they, they, not just that they take care of them, but they let them take care of the customer. They let them figure out. So that's what I'm stuck on, right? And so I'm great, man. And I got some great people, man. Like I, I, I've had some really good people through the door, and I've had a couple people that they, they had a champion inside, but 
they didn't have our mission, our passion. And so yeah. it was easy to to break the people apart that did have our mission and passion, if you will. Um, my, you know, my, my thing, I've always wanted the people with me, with me forever, and to just go off into different divisions to to bring that mission. You know, I had um, one girl, out, her, her, her name's Kateri. I had wished that she would be there so that she could be a role model for my daughter, right? She was awesome. I worked with her, I believe, freshman year into... Uh, and I could be mistaken with this, but I think deep into her college and then um, she ended up leaving. But man, like I w- still wish she was with me today, man. Like the energy that she had, the love for people that she had, it was great. But I brought people in sometimes for the wrong reasons. So I'm going for Southwest, right? Um, they take care of their people. So sometimes I'm looking at what do you, what do you, you know, this person's good in this sport. This person's good in this sport. Um, it'll, be, it'll be great to have their energies off the off the charts. But, you know, our mission is, or one of our core values, selfless. Respect is a necessity. A passion to serve and uplift the person next to you, a must. So this is what I need to be listening for in in an interview, not, I did this, 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 and this. And, you know, I'm not not interviewing core values at that time. So I say Southwest, I'm going to come back to that. Southwest hires who they want. Mm-hmm. They train the people that they hired, meaning they're on purpose with who they hire. There's specificity in who they hire. Then they train exactly how they want their people trained. And then they go on the floor to be released, to shine the way they do. So I was missing the first two ingredients gotcha. to, to, to let it be unleashed. And, um, and so, you know, I made, I made a lot of mistakes, man. And, and, you know, I'm getting emails, I'm getting calls Hey, the, 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 the sessions aren't the set, this session's draining, or we need the workouts aren't the same, or will you come train this? Will you come train that? And, um, I'm like, I'm writing the program and like, I know this is good. So another thing I'm studying is you got to defend your employees or your team. Well, the people within our business, they are our team. And sometimes the people are, our teammates, meaning the, the folks running the classes, and sometimes our team, all the time our team, are the people that signed up. Like, that's our team. So I'm reading. You got to defend your employees. It, it, you know, if they're delivering and you're giving them the program and you're calling them, they're giving their best. They're coming. They're, give, they're not always giving their best. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they're making groups that are, that are gossip groups. Sometimes that's they're making— lullaby. <laughs> oh, you told me to put a timer on, dude. Yeah, you're, you're good, man. Jam no, it. 45 minutes. Oh, okay. 45 minutes. Keep on going. Rocking. So, and so sometimes they're, um, you know, sometimes you're worried about the night's sleep you got. Can't worry about the night's sleep you got. You got to worry about the person in front of you, right? And so, but I'm defending. I'm defending rather than um, meaning, meaning we got it. We're coming along. We're jamming. Well, I defend, I defend so long that. My the team that I thought I had created gossip groups. The people are uh, people. The teammates within the gossip groups we're breaking up. Um, you know, breaking up. People are talking about um, moving out or get fits. Not what it is. Well, I'm not coaching at the time, right? I'm not mm-hmm. in the building like I should have been. I made a lot of mistakes as a, and I'm glad I did because we're better today. And I'm learned. I, I learned a significant amount. And I still, with everybody I'm talking about. Believe in them. There's a champion within them. There's love, but as an owner and as a, somebody responsible for, um, as a leader and somebody responsible for unleashing this, filling the well, you can't let that happen, right? So I have taken a year, multiple years long learning lesson in that, right? And at the end of the day, I gotta hire, I gotta train. And I gotta and, and I gotta let them be once I know that they fit the mission. And then we're covering our people. And I gotta believe in my team when they say, "Hey, the workouts aren't what they are." And I'm gonna evolve this one more. You know, so I took a story, uh, or, or I took a two months. There was um, workouts. This was a true story. Two months of workouts during during this phase. A lot of the people quit. We, you know, we had we had the the, the folks complaining about the workouts and saying it's not what it used to be. That type of deal. I took the same two months worth of workouts that we had done and did them again and did them again and gained <laughs> and, and within within a week and a half. These workouts are fire. This is it's the way you deliver. It's the way you believe. It's the way you love. And I did it purposely. Right. 
And so that was, that's the deal. Like you can take, I can give you a workout. You can do it or you can do it. I can give you a workout to give to somebody. You can give it to them or you can give it to them. You got to believe in them to give it to them. You got to believe in something deeper than yourself to do that. So, Mm. yeah. So that's, uh, that's the jam. That's the jam. And the jelly. And the jelly. (laughs) And the jelly. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> Why do you look me in the eyes and go? That's that the jam. Jelly. That's the jelly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, with a little marshmallow. <laughs> See, I'm even rapping for you, Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, dude, Eddie's just been talking this whole time. And he's just been like, Sam. I wish Sam was here. <laughs> I keep looking over Sam and it's empty. <laughs> it's empty. My mom's dog died. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Just recently? Yeah. 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 I mean, I was just thinking it's kind of like, you know. Are you equating Sam not being here for one podcast to <laughs> your family dog dying? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. She died. Sam ain't here. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No genuine <laughs> smile here. <laughs> genuine smile 2020 Instagram. Plugged. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, multiple times. We'll just have to tag him in the episode now. We can use his followers again. Thanks, thanks, Sean, for our most successful episode. <laughs> we'll plug you every episode. <laughs> just beginning of episode is like this episode has been brought to you by Genuine Smiles Twenty Twenty. Follow us on Instagram. Link down oh, below. Jeez. So, Eric. Yes. What's your question? I mean, not that question. Not that oh. question. <laughs> but I was saying, you have a question of some sort. I, Man, I don't know. Jeff's covered so much today. He's covered so much. He's on fire. Dude, his well is full. The well is full. Mm. Wait a minute. I, the, the, but if a well has water. Yeah. And a well was full. Yeah. What type of water catches fire? Well, I thought it was supposed to be oil. It's an oil. Oh, it's an oil, oil well. Right? Oh, it's, it's, a it's a water oil. well, man. But how does water, water catch well. fire? Well, you got a thir- you got a drink, right? Yeah. You got a drink. If your well's not full, your whole family's getting malnourished, man. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So when your well's full, your whole family's got fire. But but Sorry. they but there'd be so water all the fans of fire. Make sure you drink water. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> Water's but there'd be water, and yeah. you put the water on the fire. You don't have to put the, the water. Well. You don't have to put the water on the fire. Mm. So you pour you the water on the fire. Or is it yourself? the fire. Is the fire grease fire? Is the you're supposed to throw salt in that? That's that's, that's what I'm saying. But if the fire is a grease fire, yeah, the fire is a grease fire, and because you have all here we go, you have you know your <laughs> life, you just have all this grease, you know, all this trauma, all this grease. What yeah. do you do with the grease? You know, you know, the, you know, you gotta light that fire, and you gotta pour the water on it. And now you got this big grease fire. So it's a grease fire. Is your it's, life a grease are you, fire? Are you aggressively attacking Jeff's? No, <laughs> no I, 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 I'm I making a it. joke. I love it. I I'm love making it. a joke. Don't but, make a joke. Talk it. But Talk but it. is yeah. your life a grease fire? I feel like this analogy just about yourself. Dang. Eddie, we really need you to show a genuine smile here. A grease fire. I don't know. What is a grease fire? I was just, you know, I was just thinking how can water and fire go together unless there's grease? That's what we're asking you. How does, what is a grease fire? What lights your Mm. grease fire? (laughs) 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 You know, we really like that. was the most serious question I've ever asked. (laughs) Mm. Huh. I don't know. But I feel like that's an analogy, though. Because you could have, I think your life could be a lot, have a lot of grease. I was thinking like, well, you used the word trauma when you said grease, right? Yeah, Yeah. like you can't do it. You can't do it. You're you're this. You're that. The labels, like you said, yeah, that's that can also be your, be your, you know, your grease. And there's like a little little flame, and then the water comes. Now let me ask you. Now I'm using it to get past stuff. Now let me ask you something about that. Yeah, yeah. Do you think using your grease fire, negative energy to build fill your well? Is better than filling it with water, like Jeff is talking about. Or instead of like building that's people up and loving thing. what you do, or being proving everybody wrong. Because you never like, really prove anybody. Work. You never like you can do that, and I've done that to where it's like, all right, I got all this stuff. Like I'm gonna show them, like you know, like yeah. you know. Yeah. Do they have genuine smile shirts? No. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you use that. You can you you can definitely use your trauma, use your bad experiences to push you and you can gain some success but at the but end when of the you're, day when you're it's saying empty. trauma when you're saying trauma to push you you sound like you're using that as an edgy way am i reading that right like uh, what do you like mean i got edgy? trauma and but i can get through anything is am i reading that right i'm i'm just saying you know you can 
so if people doubted you, if people said bad things about you, if yeah. you didn't, you know, you weren't expected to do anything, which is yeah. similar to, you know, things I've experienced in my life. So you weren't expected to do anything. You know, you can use who, that. Who, 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 how many people didn't expect you to do anything? Right. You don't have to name that. Don't don't name, don't name that number. Don't name that number. But there's 7.4 billion people in the yeah, world. No, so who? So, so if you're talking about if you're talking about a you thousand know who you are. <laughs> and that's the point. Yeah, that's the it's point. only one person, but somebody like, that was impactful. But I, I'm just saying. Yeah. I, but until I'm, until you realize that. They don't have that much impact over you. And, oh, you and some people never realize that. But, man, it could be I'm in. I'm in school in in Haverty Grace or I'm in school in Aberdeen and I get this teacher or this teacher. Like it could be that much different. The five mile radius, a teacher for a teacher. It could be the same school, or, teacher for teacher. Or negative person. One that believed in me, one that didn't. Mm -hmm. But and I can ride. But but what I was <clears throat> what I'm saying is you can build there is a way yeah. that you can reach a level of success, whether you want to call it success or not, but you can use negative energy in the sense of I'm going to show them to, to grow. Like, I, you know, it happens, yeah. but I'm saying so hold that's on. at the end of the day, if you did that to where it's like, I'm just going to show them at the end of the day, you, you will look back and you'll go this, you know, yeah, I did this, but it, it's, you, you, you didn't that? deal with, I have in my Were life. you successful? Yeah, I was. What do you, how do you define success? Were you full? No, be, no, you weren't okay. because you didn't deal with the you didn't deal with the issue at hand. So that's that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Is so were you, you know, metaphorically pouring water on your grease fire? I was <laughs> metaphorically pouring water. It was on my going grease fire. crazy. But that's that's all I'm saying is that people can use that, and you see that a lot in in our culture. You know, yeah. music stuff like that. Like, but there's listen, ways there's ways to use it right. There's you know, ways, like, yeah. like like we're talking about, you're talking about trauma. Man, the people that traumatized you, they dealt with loads of trauma themselves. Of course. Somebody that's traumatizing somebody else had a miserable heck of an experience that maybe you know about, maybe you don't, right? Mm -hmm. And so who are you showing? Maybe they don't even care about you showing them how much money you could make, what kind of house you could have, what you win. Maybe they don't even care about that. So yeah. you're you're in this fight against... People that aren't even in a fight with you, you, you yeah. know what I mean? And so, and so I define success as, man, I'm peaceful in here. Yeah. I'm peaceful in here. And that's how like people should define peaceful, success. If I'm not peaceful, man, like I, I can win anything. If I'm walking home empty, I'm empty. I'm not successful. Yeah. That's how people should define it. But how many people are there? And I'm saying that you yeah. have something there, but I'm saying there, there's a lot of people because Look at Robin Williams. Yeah, was he successful? Super. Everything he, that during, everything that you could say, yeah, he's successful. During his course. life, I would imagine he had moments. Yes, I would imagine. But, he had but moments. there was something there to where whatever. I don't know his whole story. I haven't yeah. read his book, or if he has one. Yeah. But he, whatever that thing was, he didn't yeah. deal with it. So I think that there's a lot of people in the world. Yeah. That. They may get all this stuff, and to the outside eye, they look like they're successful. But in reality, like you said, here they're not. Financially, yes, this, that, and yeah. the, the third, yes, yeah. but they're not. So I'm saying that there's – yes, you can take that negative and, oh, I'm going to show them. And yeah, you may be able to do a lot with it, but at the end of the day, like you said, it's that's what you're saying. Yeah. We're saying the same thing here. A hundred. Is that it's empty. Vanity. And, 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 Ooh, and so and so okay. with that, so with that, when you're saying you can take, we are saying the same thing, but I'm going to say you can't take like yeah. you literally like you're not really taking you're, you're, you're not. making a mistake thinking you are you're taking you because, are. you know, like you, and I'm not talking I'm, I'm, I'm saying that there's a lot of people that do that. I'll show everybody. It's you're the not same thing as anybody. stealing. Like if you go out here, like we can rob a bank and we can buy a bunch of cars. No, oh, yeah, we we took yeah. all this money and we have yeah we got this stuff. Yeah, yeah, you got it until the repercussions of what you did shows. The repercussions are already there. Th they're already if you, there. If it's not full when you have it, even if you you know you can get away with murder for the rest of your life, you you live with the repercussions whether the court. Whether the world tells you, yeah, you're gonna or not, feel it. like you, exactly, yeah, we experience it. And there's not a person I've ever met, that and you does may it. not even realize that you experience it, but you experience it. 
You might not even think about it. You're, but yes. it, but it's you might still not know why, but you're empty. Yes. You're lonely. You're lost. You're broken. Yep. Yeah. For yep. sure. For sure. Eric, let's yeah. talk about your bank robbing days. Do you do you want to repent of this? We're not talking about my bank robbing days. <laughs> We're not talking about that. What's your best moment at Top Flight, man? I don't know, man. I had a lot of good times there. I think it was just accumulation of like just learning more about myself and learning more about like what I enjoyed about it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's jamming, man. Jamming. I liked watching y'all grow. That's what I like. I liked watching y'all grow. It's cool. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad I knew, I found out how to do the little ladder thing, right? <laughs> Actually, no. The first time seeing Eddie do the ladder was pretty hysterical. Uh, well, for months, for months, yeah, months, you know. But that, but that's the beauty of you, man. Yeah. And it's, and that's you just keep coming, baby. And then that happens, right? Yeah. And same thing with the podcast, right? Like mm. you guys play these podcasts back. You figure out the moments that you could make adjustments. Mm -hmm. Do that for five years, and you got yourself one amazing, stinking podcast. Mm -hmm. You take the moments, what should I have done? What could I have done? Where, where? You know, and y'all are the dude and the rhino all over the globe, man. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing everywhere. Going everywhere. Worldwide. Worldwide. Mr. With Pitbull. <laughs> Worldwide. Dale. Plug. Sponsor us, please. We need your Plugging money. Pitbull. We really need your money, Pitbull. We please be a sponsor dollars. of the show. Please be a sponsor of the show. The lights are about to turn off. <laughs> the podcast lab. <laughs> yeah, man. So you're you're right down from where you used to bounce, right? Yeah. Right down the street, man. I think that he's got some undealt yeah. with trauma because of bouncing and getting punched. I got, I got <clears> hit a bunch. I got attacked, hit a bunch of times. Yeah, let's talk to him about that. Can you break them wide open? Crack them like, crack them like the crack open Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> My head. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying, talk to him. Turn his fire. My fire turn about fire. this job that I used to have in college. Yes. How, yeah, let's talk. I, about actually, this. honestly, bouncing was one of the funnest jobs I had, because like the guys who I worked with we were all cool. We all joked around. We had a good time. Yeah. And then like when it was time to go, it was time to go. And the, the nice feeling about it was, like, we were all so close that it was, like, if you knew, like, something bad was happening to you, you knew some crazy guy was running through the crowd ready to smack the guy. Yeah, except for the guy that held the door. <laughs> you know, that one guy. That one guy we can't trust. <laughs> that, was the, that was the one guy. There was a big yeah. long bar brawl, and apparently one of the guys just, like, so yeah. up, big fight <laughs> broke out, like, right in front of the doors. Oh, like, they pulled out a couple employees. So we're like, yeah. oh, gosh, we got to go out there. So I'm running out the door. I walk out the door, and I get cold cocked. Uh -huh. Like, guy runs by and just hits me. And I'm like, I fall over, my shoe falls off. And like, turn, and I see the one old guy that we used to work with holding the door closed oh, from the man. inside. Oh, <laughs> and man. I was like, and the turn, he's like, it's locked. It's locked. Like, I can't get out. It's, I'm like, it's a pull. He's like, no. Oh, man. <laughs> I was going to come out, but I figured I'd stretch <laughs> he's first. Like, he's like, man, I don't want to hurt these young guys. <laughs> mm, that's crazy. Yeah. That's he was crazy. like, working with him, he was like, he was a nice guy, but it was always yeah. like, after the big parties, like they'd the leftover food, like we could eat. Okay. But he wouldn't tell anyone until he had like three, three uh, like, to go trays <laughs> in his car already. And then he'd be like, Oh, yeah, there's food downstairs. But like, yeah, he probably took all yeah, of it. <laughs> and then we go downstairs nice, and be like, Oh, cool. There's like six chips <laughs> for 18 of us. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. How long ago was that? Four. Still holding years on. Years ago? To five it. years ago? Five You're years still ago. Still holding yeah. on to it, Eric. Yeah. You're the one who brought it up. And also just, your mother's dead dog again. I'm sorry for it, but that was just came out of nowhere. Yeah. You want to cry about it? What are you more Sammy, upset about? Sammy, cue the. <laughs> Sammy, cue the. <gasps> if Sammy was here, he'd cue the music. <laughs> I feel like Eddie just starts Sammy for the rest of his life. Does Sammy cue the music? Yes. Does he cue, yeah. Yeah, he cues the music. When Eddie did his, there's an episode where Eddie did an apology video because he didn't know he said. Somebody's Starfish is the wrong name. Yeah. And we I called Starfish uh John when his name is Mike. Joe. I mean Mike. Um <laughs> cue the music. You can do another apology. <laughs> so we did a whole apology and then we had Starfish on. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was fun. But are we about out of time? We're gonna go down and eat had, uh eat eat um eat eat some soup with the old people oh, oh, downstairs. We're get some, some pea soup. Yeah, some pea soup. Some lentil. Take, take the dentures out. <laughs> pop out our, our dentures <laughs> we go eat soup that sounds great so we're gonna go eat some soup you got a question everyone what are you talking remember? about no, 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 no. 
no, no, we're talking about Genuine Smiles 2020 here. Okay. Don't forget to follow. Get fit. But you have a final performance. question. I know, but we got to shout everybody out. Okay. Make sure to follow Get Fit Performance. In the area, hey, when you plug shot. Rich Simpson Rise oh. Up, have them download that song. Rich, oh, Rich Simpson Rise Up, guys. Rich Simpson Rise Up, download that song. He is absolutely jamming, needs to be on your playlist. Yep, that's the song that we started the show with. And now, I've been asking everyone this question and the podcast excited. lab, which makes oh, yeah, all this possible as we <laughs> sit here. And call the dude if you're looking to buy, sell, or invest 410 586 Boom. Hey, do five for you. One more thing, guys. Looney's Pub, September 7th, 6.30 p.m. We will be live and in color. Rich Simpson will be there live and in color. Come out and join us. Okay. I think I know what we're doing September 7th. Yeah. At 6.30. So, so I've been asking one question. Now, we've got Kanye West going for president, right? And now Pete Davidson wants to. You know I'm saying Pete Davidson's going to go for president. You know who that is? I know who they are. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Who are you voting for? Are you going to give Kanye being your president or you got Pete Davidson being your president? Man, I'll tell you, I, I have not voted in the last but three elections, man. Oh. But if, if I'm voting, mm-hmm. I'm going Kanye. Okay. I'm going Kanye. Rich. He wrote graduation. <laughs> he wrote graduation. <laughs> My man Rich loves Kanye, man. So I got to go Kanye. There you go. Yeah. Are you going to wear your Yeezys to the to the polls? I would probably wear no, my chucks. Converse, I wear man. my chucks. He'll yeah. wear his oh, vans. Yeah. Whatever, whatever those things are. What about you guys? Who are you voting for? Oh, I, I'm i on Kanye. Oh, with Kanye and um, uh, Kanye. Because Pete Davidson's weird looking. He just looks like he needs some more iron in his diet. That's all. That's yeah. We just, just keep on saying he needs more iron. He's, he's going to call us out one day. We're going to have him on the show. You can see on SNL. Just be like, he's, he's, the rhino and the dude, shut up. <laughs> he's going to be right here, and we're and we're going we're gonna to have confrontation with him. It's going to be our best episode yet. But this has been the rhino and the dude minus Sammy. Sorry, Starfish, again. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff, for joining us. Yeah, Thank you, Jeff, you for joining us. Appreciate and where can we follow you at? At Get Fit Sports on Instagram. That's the jam. Ooh, that's, that's the jam. The, jam. Right the rhino now. and the At dude. Get fit sports on Instagram. And I got this thing. Yep. And you hit minus. Thank you all. Don't tell Mercy. Say hello to your mother for me.